what do I say? What do I say? Uh. Oh! I have a new intro. Hey everyone, it's me, XS Lewis. Today, I'm going to show you how to hook your Wii Remote up to your computer to play retro games, and even some modern ones. So, first off, you're going to need a computer. See? Computer. Right here. Boom. Already done. You're then going to need, uh, Bluetooth. This, rem remember, this guide only works on Windows, uh, Mac and Linux, uh, have better solutions but f for this you can get analog joystick input f for your joysticks on the classic controller and it supports the nunchuck and regular Wii remote so let's get started first you're gonna wanna download a couple of things as soon as alright you're gonna wanna download this program called PP Joy and Glow Pie let's go to Love Pi first. So you click the 100% green power option, and I've had issues with 0.45. I I just go to 0.43, and without a motive, it's fine. And go ahead and press OK, and just unzip this wherever. I'll unzip it into program files cuz why not All right, let me just and there we go let me just create a shortcut on the desktop boom there we go all right so you got that done. Now you're going to want to download the script for it, which will also be in the description. Just save file. It'll probably show up as a text document. That's OK. You'll still be able to open it from uh, your glove pie. And then you're going to want to get glove pie no, sorry, not Glove Pie. You're gonna want to get PP Joy. That's the one we haven't installed yet. PP Joy. You're gonna wanna, yeah, click that and then click download. Save file. Run the file. All right. Now, this most of you probably have 64-bit operating systems, so this will come up. So this driver isn't signed. It's completely safe, but you have to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars just to sign the driver and it's ridiculous so uh... just click OK and it'll reboot your computer so um... click OK and watch your computer reboot trust me it's completely safe completely and totally safe <sighs> just wait for it to boot up Now, once you have this script installed, you'll be able to use basically anything that can use a joystick. There's also a way to use X Patter. Maybe I'll make that a second video. Uh, you can use X Patter to make this recognized as a 360 controller input thing I'm above. So, you have that. Our computer is welcoming us. This is a remake of an old video. Alright, so, once it's rebooted and all that pizzazz, you're gonna get, it's gonna say test mode in the corner, and that means that it worked. So, you can go ahead and, uh, fire your set up again 
where you saved it usually your downloads folder open it and it should start now just lots of I agree 64 bit blah 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 install this procedure is the same as Windows 8 and Windows Vista Well, you want to click install the driver software anyway. This is the test sign driver. And just wait. Wait for the install to finish. Now, uh, I don't condone, uh, ROM piracy and stuff like that. Um, if you're doing it, you deserve to get caught. I'll make another video on how to safely get Wii and GameCube ROMs at least. But a lot of people seem to agree that um, if you uh, own the game, bought it, you can download the ROM. It seems that you can, people agree on that. Others just say that old games are no longer. Well, Nintendo's not going to make, or the, any of the other big game companies are not going to make any profit on them anytime soon, so it's okay for them. Alright, here we go. Something's happening. There we go. Completed. Alright, uh. Just leave it checked, finish. And it should open something like this. If it does, you're gold. Now close it and uh, make sure you insert your Bluetooth adapter. I'm gonna let's see. Let's find it. Eh. Uh, this must be it. No. Here we go. I hope that was it. All right. So, that took a little while, but that's okay. Let's see, insert it, and I'm on a VM, so. Quotes around insert. But, once, everything should say ready to use, and um, you're gonna right click it and click add a device. And right now, you're gonna hit the one and two buttons on your Wii remote. And it should, a Nintendo RVL CNT01 or there's there if you have the Wii remote with the motion plus inside of it there are some extra numbers I don't know if this will work with it pair without using a code configure the device again it will install the device if the uh, lights mm -hmm. stop blinking it's okay all right now let's fire up glove pie Actually, first, just kidding, go to PP Joy and configure joysticks. Now you want to click add in the drop down list in, in where parallel port is, click virtual joysticks, click add, and it will detect and install your joystick, and then click mapping and set a custom mapping for this controller. So you want four axes, 16 buttons, and one POV hat. X axis, Y axis, Z axis, Z rotation, good. Oh, X axis, all these should be zero, one, two, three. This is how it should look. Next. Buttons one through 16 should be digital zero through 15, next. And from top to bottom, the directional button should be 16, 19, 18, 17. Next. And then click finish. And you're done. You can click done, and that'll close out, and you have your joystick driver. And there's, yeah, make sure you still have Bluetooth. That shouldn't be a problem, though. F and then open your script. Here it is. This is what it should look like. It, I found it on a random forum, and it works the best. So... Yeah. Now you're gonna hit the one and two button and then hit the run button slightly afterwards. So one and two and then run. 
and then it should run and you should hear the device connect sound all right now when it connects you should see the one in player one and four lights on your controller light up and then the four one should go out so it should just pl say player one on it um, if you hit the home button it'll change modes to uh, the player two light being illuminated in, in the second mode with the player two light illuminated the d-pad and the joyce the left joystick will act as the same and I don't think this works on the classic controller pro I don't know if it does but you can try I don't think it does so yeah you could use it with a nunchuck that'll have analog you could use it with the regular Wii remote that'll that doesn't have analog so it won't have analog but you get the gist so I'm pretty sure in uh, devices and printers over here you'll be able to maybe not no. okay you can't all right ah uh, I'm gonna go download dolphin real quick because that has a really nice visual indicator of your controller so let's go to dolphin and download and here we go oh I have to download 7-zip standby All right. Uh, all right. Let's unzip Dolphin now. Here's Dolphin. Let's put it in our program files again with the program files. Did it work? Might take a little while. Uh oh. I need to install DirectX. Alright, once that's done, you're going to get a nice little folder, and cross your fingers, uh, it works, alright, now uh, this is going to be our visual here, let's see if it works, so you're going to, hey, it doesn't work, oh wait, hang on, gonna make, you always want to make sure you select PP Joy Virtual Joystick 1, and uh, I don't know, Choose whichever one you're feeling lucky. So, A, B, it seems like it's working. X, Y, um, Z, start. I'm pushing this on the classic controller. Now, oh, oh, hang on. I'm operating in mode two. Uh -huh. Make sure you're in mode one for the double joystick. All right, now uh, you can see here this dot down here that I'm. It can see how much I'm moving it. That's that's good. That's analog, and so it can tell. It's 
So it was fun to watch that. Alright, now for the C stick. Make sure it goes the same direction. And then the triggers, L and R. I don't think you can get analog. And then the D-pad. And that should just work fine. So yeah. Make sure it's PP Joy Virtual Joystick. And uh, all, you, all the buttons seem to be working. <laughs> Alright. So, it's set up. That's how it works. It works really well. And it's analog and it's green. Uh, next video, I'll show you how to make it uh, X input to play some Xbox 360 games. Thanks for watching.